In this podcast episode, Dr. Stacy Sims, an exercise physiologist and nutrition scientist, shares her insights into how women can optimize their health, fitness, and longevity by understanding their unique physiology. The conversation delves into various topics, including the impact of the menstrual cycle on exercise and nutrition, the importance of specific supplements, and the nuances of women's health throughout different life stages. Dr. Sims emphasizes the significance of the menstrual cycle in shaping a woman's physical performance and nutritional needs. The cycle, typically lasting around 28 days, consists of distinct phases, the follicular phase, ovulation, and the luteal phase. Each phase is characterized by varying hormone levels, which can influence energy levels, mood, and overall performance. For instance, during the follicular phase, estrogen levels rise, leading to increased energy and improved recovery. This is often the best time for women to engage in high-intensity workouts and strength training. Conversely, after ovulation, progesterone levels increase, which can lead to changes in energy levels and mood. Dr. Sims notes that many women may feel less energetic and more prone to fatigue during this phase, making it essential to adjust training intensity and nutrition accordingly. Understanding these hormonal fluctuations allows women to tailor their exercise and dietary strategies to align with their body's natural rhythms, ultimately enhancing performance and well-being. Dr. Sims discusses how traditional exercise science has largely been based on male data, often overlooking the unique physiological responses of women. This oversight can lead to misunderstandings about how women should train, particularly in relation to their menstrual cycles. For example, while men may thrive on calorie restriction and fasting, women often experience adverse effects, such as increased fatigue and weight gain. The conversation highlights the importance of recognizing that women are not just smaller versions of men. Their bodies respond differently to exercise and nutrition due to hormonal variations. Dr. Sims encourages women to embrace their physiology and use it to their advantage, rather than conforming to generalized training protocols that may not be effective for them. Nutrition plays a crucial role in optimizing performance and recovery for women, especially in relation to their menstrual cycle. Dr. Sims explains that women should adjust their macronutrient intake based on the phase of their cycle. During the follicular phase, when energy levels are higher, women can benefit from a diet rich in carbohydrates to fuel their workouts. In contrast, during the luteal phase, when progesterone levels rise, women may require more protein and heme and healthy fats to support their changing energy needs. Dr. Sims also emphasizes the importance of timing meals around workouts. For women, consuming a small amount of protein and carbohydrates before exercise can help maintain energy levels and improve performance. This approach contrasts with the common practice of fasted training, which may not be as beneficial for women due to their unique hormonal responses. By understanding these nutritional needs, women can enhance their training outcomes and overall health. In the podcast, Dr. Sims discusses four key supplements that can significantly benefit women, particularly those navigating the challenges of their menstrual cycle and menopause. The first supplement she highlights is creatine, which is often misunderstood as a product solely for bodybuilders. Dr. Sims explains that creatine can enhance muscle strength, improve recovery, and even support cognitive function. Women typically have lower creatine stores than men, making supplementation beneficial for optimizing performance and overall health. Another important supplement discussed is vitamin D. Dr. Sims emphasizes that many women are deficient in vitamin D, especially those living in areas with limited sunlight. Vitamin D is essential for bone health, immune function, and overall well-being. Supplementing with vitamin D can help mitigate some of the negative effects of hormonal changes during menopause and support long-term health. Dr. Sims also advocates for the inclusion of omega-3 fatty acids in women's diets. Omega-3s are known for their anti-inflammatory properties and can help alleviate some of the symptoms associated with hormonal fluctuations, such as mood swings and joint pain. Additionally, Omega-3s support heart health and cognitive function, making them a valuable addition to any woman's nutritional regimen. The conversation highlights the importance of obtaining omega-3s from high-quality sources, 
such as fatty fish or supplements. Dr. Sims encourages women to be proactive about their omega-3 intake, particularly during perimenopause and menopause, when inflammation levels may rise due to hormonal changes. By prioritizing omega-3s, women can better manage their health and well-being during these transitional phases. Sleep is another critical factor in women's health that Dr. Sims addresses. She explains that hormonal fluctuations throughout the menstrual cycle can significantly impact sleep quality. For instance, many women experience sleep disturbances in the days leading up to their period due to changes in progesterone and estrogen levels. These disturbances can lead to fatigue, decreased performance, and mood changes. Dr. Sims emphasizes the need for women to prioritize sleep hygiene and create a conducive sleep environment. This includes establishing a consistent sleep schedule, minimizing screen time before bed, and creating a relaxing bedtime routine. By improving sleep quality, women can enhance their overall health, performance, and resilience to the challenges posed by hormonal fluctuations. As the conversation shifts to menopause, Dr. Sims highlights the various challenges women face during this transitional phase. Many women experience symptoms such as hot flashes, mood swings, and weight gain, which can be attributed to declining hormone levels. Dr. Sims emphasizes that understanding these changes is crucial for women to navigate menopause successfully. She encourages women to seek support and education about menopause as many healthcare providers may not be well-versed in the latest research and treatment options. Dr. Sims advocates for a holistic approach to managing menopause, which includes lifestyle modifications, exercise, and when appropriate, hormone therapy. By taking an active role in their health, women can mitigate the negative effects of menopause and maintain a high quality of life. Dr. Sims provides valuable insights into effective exercise strategies for women going through menopause. She emphasizes the importance of strength training and high-intensity interval training ATI, to combat the loss of muscle mass and bone density that often accompanies hormonal changes. These types of workouts can help improve insulin sensitivity, support weight management, and enhance overall physical function. Additionally, Dr. Sims encourages women to listen to their bodies and adjust their training intensity based on how they feel. During menopause, women may experience fluctuations in energy levels, and it's essential to prioritize recovery and self-care. By incorporating a variety of training modalities and being mindful of their body signals, women can optimize their fitness journey during this phase of life. The podcast also touches on the connection between nutrition and mental health, particularly for women experiencing hormonal changes. Dr. Sims explains that fluctuations in estrogen and progesterone can impact mood and cognitive function. Therefore, maintaining a balanced diet rich in essential nutrients is vital for supporting mental well-being. Dr. Sims highlights the role of specific nutrients, such as omega-3 fatty acids and B vitamins, in promoting brain health and reducing the risk of mood disorders. By prioritizing a nutrient-dense diet, women can better manage their mental health and navigate the emotional challenges that may arise during hormonal transitions. Throughout the conversation, Dr. Sims emphasizes the importance of community and support for women navigating their health journeys. She encourages women to seek out resources, connect with others who share similar experiences, and advocate for their health. By fostering a supportive environment, Women can empower each other to make informed decisions about their health and well-being. Dr. Sims also highlights the need for more research and education on women's health issues, particularly in relation to exercise and nutrition. By raising awareness and sharing knowledge, women can take charge of their health and advocate for better healthcare practices that address their unique needs.